yes, there are talented swimmers, but they cannot swim for 100 kilometers to, to go explore and find mates or even to find food. When a population reaches um, uh, carrying capacity, you will find that there will be some um, cannibalism. But you're also looking at another process of cannibalism, which we call infanticide. It's sort of a strategy that the species uses for male reproductive success. So you will find that without sea ice, there's a limited number of mates. So this competition is fierce. As a male, you would want to pass your genes. If a female loses her cubs and immediately becomes receptive to actually conceive and produce another litter, then that, of course, males would hunt and then kill offspring to ensure that the female will reproduce uh, and, of course, um, pass on their genes. <music> It's relatively a small population, so there is some order of genetic relatedness. So on average, what you're seeing is that individuals that are closer together are mating. And that could unmask some of the genetic, some of the recessive uh, traits in the populations, which are detrimental. We had found there was that there was between a three to ten percent loss in genetic diversity as time progressed because sea ice is that connection is that bridge that connect different habitats or different areas and without that you will find that the population of the gene pool becomes so small in the different areas that some areas where you would typically find bears you would never find them again if you do not have that reservoir to ensure that individuals are different enough. If there's an outbreak of a disease, you might not have individuals that would be resistant to it, the capability of a species to evolve and to withstand whatever nature throws at it. Without it, it's basically doomed for extinction. <laughs> Areas that were once connected are gradually now becoming isolated. If the trend is not basically halted, then what you will see is that you, you will lose a substantial amount of populations in the region. As the population was recovering, then, oh my God, then climate change then was being reported. And now it's literally climate that they are facing. That's a major threat to polar bears now is climate, the warming temperatures. We are really destroying a habitat of a species here. As time goes on and with our work as well, with the predictions that we had made, I really do hope that we never get to see those come into fruition. <laughs>